people say hi to each other even if they don't know each other. Welcome back to the channel, you beautiful, beautiful people of the YouTube world. We're going to be checking out this video right here by Lingu Amarina. I probably butchered the name. I don't know. It looks to be Lingu Amarina. But anyways, this is a YouTube short called Six Weird Things About Americans in American Culture. So I would, I would assume this is from a non-American's point of view. Okay. Right. Because why would, I mean, it could be an American, but I would assume it's, it's a non-American, probably a European or something. Right. So anyways, links to this original video will be in that description section down below. As always hit the like button while you're down there, hit subscribe, even comment if you want to, that'd be cool. Share it with a friend. I don't even care. But anyways, we're going to check it out right here. That is correct. Let's do it. Let's see these weird, weird things. I wonder if I do any of them. I don't know. We're going to find out. I moved to the US six years ago and I find these six things really weird. First of all, Americans are really loud at restaurants. I can barely hear my friends speak. Another yeah. thing I actually like. Yeah, that's one thing that annoys me is you go into it. I mean, sure, people try to be quiet, but there's some that don't. There's some that don't care to be quiet at all. And when you've got a restaurant that's got, you know, countless people in it. And half of them are just talking like normal or even louder than what seems to what you would be, you know, what would be considered normal at dinner. You know, it, it, it adds up. It gets it gets it gets it gets quite loud sometimes. That's for sure. A lot. There are restrooms in every grocery store and in every CVS and Walgreens. We don't have this back in my home country. Now, this is weird. In some American cities, there are more dogs than kids. And this. I mean, I feel like there's dogs everywhere. I don't know about the whole some areas there's more dogs than kids thing. You know, I don't. You know, is that true? Who knows? In the bathroom thing. Yeah, there is a lot of bathrooms. We call them bathrooms here. I know. Restrooms, whatever. I know you guys call them toilets in Europe. But anyways, we have quite a lot of stores that have them. Not all of them do. Some of the, A lot of the smaller stores don't. Um, but yeah, your bigger stores, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Kroger, whatever, you know, um, you'll usually find one. Which is kind of nice. But, you know, and it makes sense because Americans, it, you know, everything's so spread out here, right? Everybody lives so far away out in the suburbs and this and that. So it's 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 car dependent, right? So my theory is by the time you've spent a half an hour or more in the car just to get into town to get your groceries, you know, there's a good chance you got to pee by the time you get into town. That's a long car ride. Whereas in Europe... You know, you probably only walked like five minutes away. You you could either wait till you get home or you, you know, there's a less chance that you're going to have to go pee while you're out, right? When you're just like that close. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. This is the case for San Francisco. I guess people with families prefer to live in suburbs. Now, something really weird that happens. The thing with the suburbs, people, families is because it's safer when you're in a bigger city. Um, you know, it's all about school zoning too, right? So if you're in, you know, inner city with a lot of gang activity and a lot of, uh, violence, right? Then your kids are going to go to school with those kids, you know, with, with other kids that are from families of the, the gang violence, right? You know, yeah, sure. There's probably a good chance that the, you know, eight-year-olds not bringing a weapon to school but it could happen you know because because they're in a household full of uh you know gangsters and stuff that have guns and this and that they could probably you know have easy access to get one take it to school whatever but regardless it's the influence you know it's just people that you're around rubs off on you right so you don't want your kid going to school with, with just a whole bunch of people that's talking nonsense you know talking about violent stuff, talking about this and this and that, you know, they're all in there idolizing their older brother that's a street gangster, 
carrying guns around and selling drugs. And that's the kind of stuff that you get in the inner cities. Whereas in the suburbs, it's more costly, right? So you get rid of the, um, that low level kind of stuff, right? You weed out the, the street crime and stuff like that. You know, you, you got more middle class families living there. So the school zoning and stuff like that's going to be more based on like, uh, not based on, but like, it's going to be other, like your, your kids are going to be going to school with other people. That's also like not violent, you know, more, uh, proper education or not education, but like, I don't know, you know, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. In smaller towns, people say hi to each other even if they don't know each other, which is, by the way, amazing. I yeah, people do that all the time. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm used to it, of course, right? I've been here my entire life, you know, so when it's just, it just seems polite, I guess, when you're walking down the street or something and you got one person walking towards you, you know, you just, you know, hey, how's it going? I don't know. I just, I'm used to it because everybody always does it, so I do it too, I guess. Enjoy saying hi to people that I don't know just because I see them. Probably one of my favorite things, I get compliments from people I don't know. Someone would just approach me in the street and say, hey, I love your outfit. This is amazing. And I yeah, I guess that is another one too. You know, people will compliment uh, uh, people. Um, like the other day, I was in the grocery store, actually. We were in there getting groceries, you know, and stuff like that, and getting some stuff for dinner. And there was probably, so it was me, Amy, and Anthony at one end of the aisle, right? And there was probably three or four, maybe five people, you know, just scattered throughout the aisle. And then on the very opposite side of the aisle from us was another person who yelled down, hey, I like your hair to me because I have my dreads. So he yelled past four or five other people. You know, some people are just like that. They're just open. They're loud. They're boisterous. You know, they compliment people randomly, you know, like him. You know, hey, I like your hair. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's just an American thing. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it, right? I guess because I'm, I'm used to it. Another one, a cool habit of people who live in my town, they start their day by grabbing coffee together with their friends at local cafeterias. I start my day grabbing coffee with my YouTube viewers. I get my coffee, I sit down at the computer, I figure out, okay, what kind of video, you know, I'll watch a couple videos, you know, just kind of waking up a little bit while I'm drinking my coffee, and then I'll start watching... Or I'll start looking to see, you know, what is it I'm going to react to today? What kind of mood am I in? You know, what do I want to react to architectural stuff? Do I want to do like a comparison between some other country in the United States? Do I want to do uh, whatever, right? I just figure all that out while I drink my coffee and then I'll get my video done. And then I'll sit here and continue to drink my coffee while I edit it and everything and yeah, that's how I start my day. So anyways, we're going to check out the comments, guys. It is comment time. Somebody says, Americans are really loud. And then it says, La the Latinos says, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Latinos, especially Latino women. You women. <laughs> Loud and feisty, I tell you what. Let's see here. This says, I don't hear many positive things about America anymore. This was a breath of fresh air. I totally agree with all of these. Yeah, there's not a lot of positive about America anymore, but it's because that's what people focus on. You know what I mean? It's boring to watch a video where the American gets all the questions right, right? So, of course, they show the ones where they get the questions wrong like when they interview americans you know so then they showcase it as dumb americans you know can't get any of the questions right or whatever right um it makes fun videos to watch it makes fun videos to react to so but of course there is uh there's there's good and bad everywhere right 
says, I think Americans saying hi even to strangers is the best thing. It's okay. I'm used to it, so, you know, I don't have much to say about it. It is it is what it is, right? So right here it says, so now it is officially confirmed that Japan is made for introverts and America is for extroverts. I'm somewhere right in the middle of that. Uh, it says, I don't know know how, but this stupid comment got 1.8 thousand likes. So thanks, y'all. Oh, he edited it to put that part in. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of likes. I'm gonna give him another like. Why not? <laughs> Anyways, that was that. That was six weird things about Americans and American culture. Let me know what you think about it. Was it weird? Was it not weird? Is there anything else to add to it? Right. Um, you guys have a super fun, awesome day, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.